and gentlemen across the gorgeous Kyber Empire. It's great to be in the Empire today. You're watching on Old Holland News. I'm not going to keep you guys in any more suspense. People are getting excited. And if you don't know, we're going to get you excited. We just got confirmation of the Sith Empire striking back in the galaxy with a brand new capital ship for the one and only Darth Revan. Oh! Get me pumped. Let's talk all about it. I'm, you know, Gary, no, just straight to the game. Straight to the game. In case you guys didn't miss, this isn't leaked. This isn't speculation. It could be a possible CG screw, which isn't too uncommon. Definitely a lot of oopsies lately. But if you hop in the game, there was an update that just dropped upon us. And if you go check out your newsletter, the system boys dropped back. Check it out. So we got our new Fury Class Interceptor inside of star wars galaxy it was first seen in by was acclaimed star wars the old republic the fear class interceptor is the ship used in the storylines of the sith wars and sith inquisitors and has been seen of late being flown by darth malgus but as such malgus will be the pilot for the ship and galaxy spheres as we set the stage for a powerful new sith fleet led by darth revan's leviathan so I, I i was gonna say this is a leak but this is as official as it gets it's officially posted inside of the game it wasn't like the little oopsie with the dark malgus being announced a little early with their sith fury interceptor and then they quickly pulled it out it's in game i, I have some questions I'm gonna probably bounce off you guys here but oh my gosh people are freaking out we know that usually about once a year as of recently there's some meta defining ship fleet last year's front of the year before his executor and they made a promise card in the top right hand corner in case you missed it that this new Sith fleet that's being built up will be meta defining. As you see, we finally have a Sith Empire tag and bada bing, bada boom. There's our Fury class interceptor for Darth Malgus. Conquest starting next week. Yeah, there's a lot of concerns about needing the Conquest character and then needing a Conquest ship. Double layered situation going on. We don't know the kit reveal for Darth Revan's Leviathan or how it's going to be required but let's hop on over here to emphasize a few things actually let's show this first gary can you bring him on over real quick man i feel like my mouth's going faster than my brain right now in case you don't know the leviathan famously seen during the jedi civil war inside of knights of the old republic here's a little animation to kind of see uh what it looks like here provided by the hyperspace database i'll leave a link down below if you want to learn more about the lore uh, of it all here uh, my thing is I, we we, we kind of speculated that all right a leviathan could be a possible thing especially with the whole sith fleet that they're trying to build for it's more specifically towards sith empire as we saw inside of the darth malgus interceptor kit reveal and we're like okay you know we heard about this darth nihilus thing ravager a couple years ago but there's a good chance this could be a leviathan and it, well we heard it's a leviathan just a moment ago but I, i'm a little confused perplexed i thought if anything, Darth Malak would lead the Leviathan. As you can even see here, uh, the official Star Wars fandom page over here is showing that the owner was Darth Malak. I, I believe this the, the Leviathan was in commission though when Darth Revan was in charge as well. Uh, so, you know, maybe where I'm splitting hairs, maybe it makes sense, maybe it doesn't make sense. When do things always make sense inside of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? So I do want to put that out there. I thought, you know, I believe this was Darth Revan's flagship, but they say here, Darth Revan's flagship was the flagship of Darth Revan who commanded the military forces of the Sith Empire from this vessel during the Jedi Civil War. Okay, well, it is what it is. Maybe there was a little oopsie. Maybe it will be Malik, but I'm almost certain they published that in game. It's going to be Darth Revan piloting this thing. Another thing that, again, more questions than answers. It's just hype that's being built up right now. Don't get me wrong, the other captains are cool, but I think a Sith fleet sounds so amazing. We've been waiting for this kind of for years. We thought it was going to be a Ravager. It's not the Ravager. Do keep in mind, when those leaks happen, there's also there's, there's a lot of stuff that gets talked in development that doesn't always come to fruition. Like, I, I can expect maybe they're developing Ravager. Maybe they have files on it. They decide to go down a different direction. It's like, long, long time ago, I saw capital ships that I thought were coming. They still have not come to this game. And it was in 2017 when I saw a bunch of captions. So maybe they pivoted, they changed their mind. That was the only thing that never came to fruition from the league. I do think having a Sith Empire capital ship makes more sense with the Darth Malgus Sith Empire focus type of synergy. I do not know though. <laughs> more of I do not know than actually no. No one knows anything. I don't even know if CG knows, but we're missing out on two more ships. And they did say here inside of this FAQ, they have two more Sith ships coming. You'll be able to acquire those before you can unlock the Fury Class Interceptor 
inside of Conquest. Okay, well, are these just two normal ships to kind of flesh out the fleet a little bit more? Because you kind of need like five ships to kind of get a fleet together. You got your core three, you know, Razor Crest, Hounds 2, Xander to Blood, or Hans Lady Falcon, Outrider, Rebel Wyoming. Then you got like two other cornerstone reinforcements. Uh, my guess is these are going to be two other Sith normal ships. And there's a lot of ideas you could throw out there. You could just look up the uh, Sith Empire Navy back in the day. As you can see here, we already have the B-28 Extinction Class Bomber. That's already inside of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. There's a lot of other ones. You got this Legion here. You got the Decimus. You got this D-1Z uh, Prototype Bomber. Here you go. Here you go. You got a B-4D Legion right there. That could be something that's a possibility. You have this Decimus, which kind of, you know, it's kind of like a, in a similar vein is that there. And then we have this uh, D-1Z Prototype Bomber. You got this Mark VI Supremacy Class Starfighter. So there's a lot of stuff that they could possibly add inside of Galaxy Heroes. What I'm hoping for, I wouldn't be mad. I mean, the Sith Empire team's already kind of stacked as it is. There's, everyone's doing a really good job of their role. But, you know, maybe we got room for like another Sith Empire character of some sort. I fully expect that the, the, the remaining Sith Imperial that we have in the game, in terms of just a normal trooper, I expect we're gonna get a ship for them. That being the Sith Empire trooper, I fully expect we're gonna get a ship based on them. But sorry, who's gonna, why the last one? I don't know, maybe they throw one of these other folks in here? I don't know, I mean, Malik, I don't see him piloting a normal ship. I would see him piloting the Leviathan. That doesn't seem to be the case. I don't know, maybe Vass. I mean, CG can kind of stretch their imagination to make whatever it works for them. So I fully expect at least one more new ship filling in here. I just don't know if that second one is Leviathan. I find it unlikely though that we're gonna get a full-blown capital ship in the next three months, I, I could be entirely wrong. It just, it's, it's, it seems, it, it could just be a couple busy months. I don't know if we're gonna just follow the cadence where September, August, October is usually when they release the new capital ship. Again, more questions than answers that we currently have right now. All I know is that it's gonna be really cool to see the Sith Empire, a very popular team. A lot of folks have Darth Revan out there. It's actually funny on the free to play account right now, we're wrapping up our executive requirements and for, I actually saw the sound right. There was a Reddit post. <laughs> I'll pull this up real quick. There was a Reddit post that was people being sad that they just finished their, their they just finished the grind for the executor. And now all of a sudden, oh, there's a new Sith Empire fleet. I do truly believe CG does a pretty good job when it comes to the top capital ships that they remain inside of a rough power tier structure among one another. Profundity maybe has a slight edge over executor but i would argue executor is better on defense so they feel like they're kind of neck to neck pretty good we'll have to wait and see just like galactic legends not all are created equal and i'm guessing the life and will have a slight edge over the current profundity and the current um executive as you see we're just wrapping up i just got to get one more relic in igd8 the event comes back this week for the executor so we're finally gonna unlock the executor super cool so if you're someone like this person over here the yeet master 2 I, I I just want to emphasize, I do think the executor is still going to be really darn good. Seeing developers say the new Sith fleet is going to be better to find me after having just not on that my executor requirements. This is literally me on my free to play count. I would not fret. I expect that they're all going to be roughly a similar power, but I do expect the Leviathan's going to be a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to get a lot of questions. People will say, oh boy, so we know there's a Sith fleet coming. Should I start upgrading stuff? No! Just wait and see what the requirements are. We don't know what they're gonna be. I'm guessing, you know, they're gonna have you look at this roster and be like, all right, not a lot of people upgraded Sith Assassin. I just upgraded her to Relic 5 because she's fantastic right now with Darth Malagus and Grand Arena. Uh, they're gonna, they, I, I expect they're gonna put a new couple new characters or ships and that's gonna be required to get the Leviathan. But just like anything, it's all pure speculation what the requirements are. Maybe Relic 10 requirement with the Crate Dragon Raid coming. Maybe two Relic 9s. I do expect at least one Relic 9, maybe a lot of Relic 8s. We just don't know what it is. All you guys need to do right now, if you're hyped, stay hyped. If you're worried, well, that's just how this game is, man. There's gonna be a lot of levels of paywall and the conquest thing of Malgus is my biggest gripe. Um, but if you're playing the game this long, you kind of know the drill at this point. Double layer conquest unit and needed to probably be a cornerstone of this brand new Leviathan based fleet for Darth Revan. Uh, it's gonna get wild. But you guys know the drill. Leave that like down below. Comment on all your thoughts. Let me know if you're just type. I don't know. Something about Sith dominating the hollow tables in space. I, it kind of gets my jitters going. You know what I mean, guys? All right. That's going to be all for today. I was actually going to post um, 
I was actually gonna post our Dark, uh, Admiral Trench Territory War gameplay. Spoiler alert, it wasn't really too impressive for Territory Warriors, but I figured this is a little bit more exciting. We'll talk more about Admiral Trench later. Likes, thoughts, oh boy, get hype. I'm like, uh, my mind's going a million miles per five years. You know the calculation. Leave that like, comment, and subscribe. This is really exciting stuff. It's cool that we got some more older public stuff, and CG knows older public stuff does very well in here, just like you guys do very well when you say how it's great to be. <sighs> Should I say Sith Empire? No, no, it's it's great to be in our empire today. It's great to be.